Hello everyone, it's uh, getting warmer now, so it's almost giant herring and tarpon time. And I thought I'd just chat through giant herring, such a fun fish to catch. Really frustrating because so many get off, but even the small ones are so much fun because they little canal acrobats, the way that they jump, the way that they hit the lures, both surface and uh, soft plastics. So I thought I'd talk through a couple of the techniques that I use couple of the places to look for them and we'll see how we go uh, from there then good luck as it gets warmer and more humid good luck in locking unlocking those giant herring lakes so the first thing that I try and look for is uh, is a landlocked lake or a small system that's got some flowing water often a drain or two coming into it which holds bait fish and as those drains start flowing the giant herring come in and they hunt in uh, in the flowing water. In terms of the lures, um, when it gets hot and humid, they tend to really enjoy the surface lures. I find uh, this Lucky Craft pencil, just small little surface lures, this Lucky Craft pencil in orange is fantastic. I have the same lure in, in a silver, which again is absolutely fantastic. They're just small. You can also use um, Splash Prawn, MMD Splash Prawn, which is awesome. It's got such a good little popping action on the water and they can't ignore that. Um, so that's if you're wanting to target surface. If you're wanting to fish uh, subsurface, I would highly recommend um, a couple of the smaller plastics. So something that's worked really well for me is the Berkeley Power Bait. A minnow on a 1.8 jig head. Um, I've also done really well with tiny little um, fish plastics like that, little paddle tails. And um, the most common or best lure that I've been using uh, the last little while have been the 3 gram MMD soft prawns. And the way I fish all these, these soft lures is um, I cast them out pretty much as far as I can go usually a 12 a 12 pound leader um, you can go pretty light with herring and then i would usually slow roll them back so i'd slow roll the soft prawn back um, with little twitches as i go or you can also let it sink to the bottom and then just jig it up nicely off the bottom so just a small popping action off the bottom and uh, and they either hit it right at the bottom or or sometimes they'll hit it as you're lifting it up through the water column. So soft plastics and surface lures are the best way to go for the GH. Uh, I have started just using small jigs, so Jig Para 5 gram and 7 gram jig gives me more distance if I feel like they're further out. And again, either slow rolling or just checking it off the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit of footage that I've tried to get over the last while of exploring different places what some of the systems may look like um, but also just catching a couple of giant herring along the way hope you like the footage and enjoy your exploring and enjoy catching these little canal acrobats have fun My go-to soft plastic is a Berkeley Power Bait drop shot minnow in the chartreuse color. It's a nice little um, yellow and orange flash with a piece of foil inside. So that works really well.
There we go. Took a while, but we got there. Morning everyone. Google Earth can be a good thing, so just Google Earthed a spot that I wanted to check out and it's a bit tricky walking through here because of the trees and all the spider webs but the lakes and the system look pretty good so I'm just trying to find some openings once I find some openings have a flick and see what we can find but the lakes just behind me here and spiders everywhere so Let's see how we do. 